executives and CEOs to not just use their their brain, but also to use their heart. And that is just speaking my language um, totally, 100%. And to be able to hear someone else say that, that has accomplished so much in his career, um, it's, it's so refreshing to know that, oh my gosh, even at a young age, you know, I'm, I'm turning 34, and even at a young age, I know this. And so I just wanted to um, share a couple of things with you guys. Um, the first thing that I wanted to share was this morning, I was just feeling like overwhelmed and feeling like hearing and thinking all these negative thoughts because of my circumstances, because of what it looks like, even though my spirit knows that something is happening, something huge is happening, and I really feel that my life is truly shifting, um, even though in the natural it seems like it hasn't. Um, I got a letter or an email from uh, Washington, D.C. regarding my position as a board member for uh, the small business uh, sector, and um, it became real. Like, when I saw that email come through, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really, really happening. And then today, I got my um, business cards for Esther's Oil Ministries, so I finally got them today. I'm so um, grateful and just so thankful that I was able to um, to go and get my business cards and there's a ton of business cards for Esther's Oil Ministries and I'm not really sure exactly what's happening because I really feel that God is calling me to ministry first. But I don't really know exactly how this ministry is going to look like. I really feel that it's in the marketplace. And I mean, a lot of times people separate ministry from marketplace, but that's just really in my heart. If anything, the people in the marketplace need it the most because they're the ones who are making the decisions for the livelihoods of the community. And I think we need more... Um, individuals out there that's being um, mentored and being shown the truth and and about the things that people are doing. I mean, I think it's time for us to actually be God, be courageous and sign up for what is right, even though it's costing us our job. I mean, me leaving my corporate job do this has been, gosh, such a challenge to say the least, especially if the message you're preaching isn't really what everybody wants to hear. <laughs> but, you know, it's in me and it's in my heart and I'm truly believing that this is what God has called me to do in however method he wants me to do it. So I just thought it was really cool that I got my business card today and I got an email from the, uh, from D.C. regarding my position as a board member, and so I'm just really grateful and so thankful for that. I also heard back from um, the assistant of um, Congress, Congressman um, Kevin Brady about his um, possible attendance to our Chamber Expo, so hopefully he does, he is able to make it. Um, other than that, I think, you know, today is going to be a day filled with preparation. I have two huge events tomorrow that I have to speak at, one for the Conroe Chamber of Commerce and, of course, my entrepreneurs, which is about finances, and um, I just, I'm really excited to see what the Lord does. You know, it's a little bit nerve-wracking because I still don't have every single detail on how exactly this is going to look like, but I really feel like simultaneously everything is being worked on by the Holy Spirit and by my divine help and by me, obviously, because it takes me to be part of this um, this whole deal. But, all right, guys, I guess I will talk to you all later. Bye.